am your god now. <laughs> there is no escape. <laughs> now, feel the delightful pain. Hi, Jake. Did you hear the news? A war just broke out up on Earth. Meet Saddam Hussein, my new partner in evil. Whoop! Move over, Satan. You're hogging all the fun. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this is getting me so hot. <laughs> Saddam, would you let me do my job, please? Come on, rub my nipples while I torture this little piggy. Saddam, yeah. could I talk to you yeah. over here for a second? I don't see why you have to belittle me in front of people like that. Hey, relax, guy. Well, sometimes I think you don't have any respect for me. Hey, come here, guy. Who's my cream puff? I am. That's my buddy. Huh? Dude, I don't want to be at war. You don't think they're really going to kill Terrence and Philip, do you? Kyle, you need to stop being such a chicken shit and stand up to your mother. You need to smack her in the face and say that's enough of your shit, you fucking bitch! Don't call my mom a bitch, Cartman! You guys stop it. This isn't helping. We've got to think here. Now, let's see. What would Brian Boitano do? Yeah, what would Brian Boitano do? Pika, 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 pika. Hey, what's going on over there? The American government thinks it has the right to police the world. Your government is going to kill two Canadian citizens, an action condemned by the UN, home of the free indeed. Let's play tetherball. Yeah! yeah. This is about freedom of speech, about censorship. Can't you guys be more political like There's rhetoric? the girl that I like. Now it appears that she likes another guy. It must be because he's political and stuff. I bet I could be political, too. What do you think, Stan? <laughs> damn it. You guys, this is all Kyle's mom's fault. Shut up, Cartman. Kyle's mom is the one that started that damn club, and all because she's a big, fat, stupid bitch. Don't say it, Cartman. Wait. Don't do it, Cartman. Wait. I'm warning you. OK, OK. I'm getting pretty sick of him calling my mom. Well, Kyle's mom's a bitch, she's a big fat bitch, she's the biggest bitch in the whole wide world. She's a stupid bitch, she's a bitch, she's a bitch to all the boys and girls. Shut your fucking mouth, Carmen! On Monday, she's a bitch, on Tuesday, she's a bitch, and Wednesday to Saturday, she's a bitch. Then on Sunday, just to be different, she's a super king, come a me a bitch. Come on, you all know the words. Have you ever met my friend Kyle's mom? She's the biggest bitch in the whole wide world. She's a mean old bitch, and she has stupid hair, she's a bitch, 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 Go a little bit, something like this. Mama, you're the one who wants me. You're the one who wants me. You're the one who wants me. into Canada, Mac is also fighting the war against potty mouths here at home. Here to present the V-chip is Dr. Vosnaka. <laughs> the machinery of the V-chip is very simple. It is placed under the child's skin where it emits a small shock of electricity whenever an obscenity is uttered. Now, uh, wait a minute. This chip somehow knows if the child is swearing? It's just like a lie detector. You see, certain things happen to you when you swear, just like when you lie. The chip picks up on this and gives the subject a little prick. Patient B5, would you step out here, please? Patient B5 here has been fitted with the new V-chip. Oh, my head hurts. Don't worry about that. Now, I want you to say, doggy. Doggy. Notice that nothing happens. Now say Montana. Montana. Good. Now pillow. Pillow. All right. Now I want you to say horsebucker. Go ahead, Eric. It's all right. Horsebucker. <laughs> that hurt, goddammit. Oh, fuck. Now I'd like you to say big floppy donkey dick. No. Success! The child doesn't want to swear! This isn't fair, you send a big... We will stop putting V-chips in all our 
our children next week. Yeah.